Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, my fellow Gators. I would like to welcome you to uh, a new project. As you can see, this time it will be Project Aurora. So, um, Aurora is the ancient battleship, or rather, Lantian battleship. And uh, it counts as uh, probably one of the, one of the most uh, powerful ships in the Stargate canon. Um, later, they were they were also built and used by Azurans, though that's obvious since they try to emulate ancients quite a lot. So here we have uh, one picture, and we can take a look at another. Yeah, here we have the entire Aurora, and then yeah, like this one. Okay, uh, before uh, we go any further, I would like to take a moment and explain something. Okay, this what you can see here, that's the Aurora, the Azuran Aurora from our game. And I actually am trying to redo this, this ship. Not to be 100% um, accurate towards the one that was used in the series, but most uh, certainly uh, to, towards the, uh, with this one. So, uh, I even took our model from the game as a base reference and according to it modeled my own uh, version. So, uh, you will most likely find a few differences between my Aurora and the Aurora that was used in the series. This is why, because I'm trying to basically do our Aurora from our game. Okay, and without further ado, I guess, let's go straight to Creo. So, this is my model. This is my Aurora. Azuran Aurora. Now, it's a quite complex model, I have to say. Um, also quite large. Uh, it's uh, 60 centimeters long. So, yeah. Uh, kind of big boy. Now, uh, it's done in the same manner as all my previous kits, so uh, everything should fit together nicely without any need for glue or, or anything like that. Um, now, uh, when it comes to those cannons, I, as you can see, I only made those little knobs uh, because uh, they will be very small. And my experience with the uh, railgun cannons from uh, 303 and 304 are uh, not the best. And if I made those um, barrels, uh, I am afraid that I would lose them in time uh, because they are very sensitive to touch. So I decided to skip them anyway, uh, sorry, entirely, and simply made it like this. Okay, so yeah, this is this is the ship. Uh, does it have any uh, sort of feature? Uh, yes, it does. As you can see, just like with the Asgard ships, uh, Aurora has quite a fat ass, quite a big, a big ass, and um, logically, it cannot stand on its own. And I don't really like to design any stand for it, so. <clears throat> So I took the same approach as I did with O'Neill and I made a retractable leg. So now the parts uh, that is actually used for standing is uh, in line with those parts here. I uh, first uh, played with the idea to make retract retractable legs even here but I in the end skipped it and uh, left it like this so now it can stand on its own without any need for any support structure which is good because i don't really like that okay and once again when closed it doesn't really seems like it uh, kind of sticks or something like that okay now the ship is divided into four main pieces I will go one by one. So first piece is this. The second piece 
is this. Third piece is this. And obviously the last piece are the main engines. And as you can see, they all have locks that basically close everything together. Now, the even though I made it our one, two, three and four, that's basically not the right order when it comes to the assembly because this part has to come out last because this is what basically holds the back and the front together so yeah i basically started to cut it to individual pieces before i realized how i will approach now when it comes to the <coughs> when it comes to the uh, bridge i made few adjustments it's not uh, one in one uh, but uh, yeah i will keep it like that okay and how does it work well uh, i will show it only uh, briefly because we will go in depth uh, in the next part uh, of this series when I will deal with each and individual part but for now let's say let's take a look at the first part so I will get rid of the leg as well okay so we have basically this piece and I simply divided uh, it into two for the purpose of painting. That's 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 all. Yeah, and we have once again a second that is held via those logs. Ten pins. I try to use the same pins all over the entire ship, and there is quite a lot of them, but they are all the same. So that's that's very good. Uh, so basically the same manner as I did everything before. Okay. Yeah, so basically like this. Yeah, as I said, I will go into detail in uh, next next. Uh, parts anyway this is this is the model now uh, so in the next video we will take a look at the first part we will try to print everything assembly together and of course and that's quite a mo uh, not most but very important uh, paint everything because as you can see this will be quite a challenging to make this paint I already ordered a bronze color, but now I have to also order a paint spray uh, in bronze. Um, yeah, it won't be easy. Let let me put it that way. It will be quite challenging to do it correctly and uh, to do it to in a way that it looks nice. I hope that I'm up for it, though I have my my doubts. Doubts. Okay. So yeah, so this is Azuran, Azuran Aurora. Okay, I hope that you liked it. Um, I certainly enjoyed uh, modeling it. And uh, we will see each other in the next part when I will try to do the first group. Okay, then I guess that's all for now. Have a very nice day and even nicer weekend and bye bye.